Okay, it's 2 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday, 13 September 2018. And I am uh, getting ready to go to a, a job agency to have uh, my final session with the counselor. So, I was feeling quite tired. I was, uh, I still do feel a little bit tired. And the reason is, I haven't been able to get any good sleep over the past few days. Um, partly, I think it's due to the increase in dosage of the lamictal, or lamotrigine, uh, which is also giving me nightmares. And I, the same thing happened last time. When I, when I took it, I, I was getting nightmares. And, uh, trying to do it go to sleep so hopefully that'll settle down once I can get my dosage uh, stabilized stabilized at 200 milligrams oh, that's gonna take a while oh, I prepared my veggies too but unfortunately I still I'm still eating those mixed nuts uh, uh, which is not helping my weight loss situation, but uh, but I'm progressing forward. What is that? A bump there? Oh, yes, my uh, lip thing has gotten better because I put some uh, jojoba oil on on my the ends of the lips before I went to sleep, so that sort of helped it a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, so that's it. Wait, what's happening there? Ooh, I've been reading the Bible. I'm sorry for yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning all the time. It's so annoying. Oh, uh, well, yes, yeah, so I've been reading the Bible. I've had to do the prayer. I've been praying. Praying to God. To Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I've been asking the Holy Spirit to be my guide, because um, so when I, I when I when I feel like I have to take charge of my life, I feel very stressed. Like oh, I gotta do this. I gotta. But then I'm telling myself, no, no, wait. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let Him be your guide. You follow the Holy Spirit, so I can. I feel more relaxed. Like oh, I'm. I'm I feel more relaxed in the following position, like I'm following a, someone else. Uh, so, you know, I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, you, you're my guide. Please guide me like every day, every moment of every day and, you know, guide me through life. Uh, so I, that makes me feel less stressed, like, oh, okay, I'll, yeah, I can relax. Mm. The Holy Spirit is one person of the Trinity. The other two are God the Father and Jesus, he said. Uh, we're all one substance, but three persons. Uh, and that Trinity uh, doctrine was developed by looking at the Bible. Because uh, if you read some of the passages, uh, there is God, there is Jesus, and then there is the Holy Spirit. This is how it comes up. There are better people who can explain it, but I have seen videos where they talk about that, but I can't remember them now specifically. So I want to get a bag, like a handbag, so I've been looking into that, and I might get this, I saw this one uh, handbag, I, I, I don't want to get anything fancy or anything, I just want to get something that's like I can carry some things in it, because the one I carry now is like a over the shoulder kind of bag, and my other red bag is like so like old, and I don't know, I feel like I'm a bit of a germaphobe, 
so I feel like that might be a bit dirty. Uh, so I want to carry, um, you know, books and things in my bag. So I want my, so I'm thinking of getting a new bag. I saw one, like I said, it's like fifty nine dollars, so it's not too expensive, but it's, it looks nice. So um, oh, I might get that. Like I said, it's not. I'm not looking for something too expensive or anything like that. Just something fairly simple that I can carry things. Uh, but I do feel bad because uh, I'm spending money on this. I should get a job. I should work. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to achieve that goal of getting a job. But I have to do it. Uh, I have to do it. Uh, at my own pace and also uh, while I deal with my mental health problems and uh, yeah so I am uh, I am walking along the, uh, to that direction did I talk about this about repentance like uh, I may have talked about yesterday with, with my RCIA uh, class uh, at my RCIA class so uh, in the Bible they said uh, they say before you, in order to have faith, you must first repent of your sins. So what does repentance mean? There was this video by Derek Prince where he was talking about this. So repentance is not a feeling. Repentance is not remorse. Remorse is feeling guilty. Repentance means you change your mind, the way you think, or or and or you, you turn and face God so if you were walking away from God repentance means you turn and you face God and you walk towards God so it's not about a feeling bad it's more like uh, you know you're, you're changing the way you think and you're trying to do what God wants you to do instead of doing what you want to do so that's repentance so with that you'd have then you can get faith um, so the reason I brought that up is uh, you don't have to be perfect. You know, we are always going to be flawed, but as long as we're walking in that direction, it's good uh, towards God when it comes to the faith in, in Christianity. And same thing with my job thing. Yes, I might not be able to get a job right now, but as long as I'm walking towards the goal of getting a job, that's a good thing. Actually, like yesterday, she had a list of questions, and one of the questions, like when we read, after we read a passage, one of the questions was, "What do you something like What do you struggle with the most, or something?" And I said, oh, "For me, it's like finding a job. It's a very difficult thing." Um, hmm. Something, some of it broke off. It's like, oh no, oh no. Yeah. This is, I, I must say, this, this, this thing over here is not a good thing. It's like, I, uh, it's not that good. So I, I, am, I am unhappy with this container and that screwing thing. It's like, it doesn't, uh, it's not a good situation. It's like, uh, see, it's a, it's, well, the bomb might be all right, but this container is not that good. Uh, so that's a bit disappointing. Mm. Mm. I'm tasting it, it's like, it tastes something. <sighs> oh, I have to be rude once in a while. Oh, I did pray the rosary yesterday. Uh, I prayed a little bit, like, uh, you know, so. It takes a while, as because you're, you're praying the same thing over and over again, so it's like, uh, repetition and um, uh, I'll just stay here for a while um, yeah so like each day I have this app and each day you have to pray one of the mysteries and uh, you know you, you pray, yeah anyway you, you have to just do in the beginning I guess I'm not really uh, uh, yesterday when I was praying it, I was like very tired or I was, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't in a meditative mood. I thought the praying would get me more meditative, but I was like, okay, how many times I have to pray this Hail Mary? 
<laughs> so I gotta pray, pray ten times. It's like, oh, hail Mary, full of grace. Uh, they have the prayer on this uh, U.S. bishop's uh, website. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So yeah, I gotta pray that ten times on the thing. So you got, uh, anyway, so I did one whole mystery. Uh, no, I didn't. I actually did one part of one mystery. So each day, like for Wednesday, yesterday was Wednesday. So Wednesday and Sundays, I think it was the glorious mystery. And then there's the, the so anyway, I'm, I'm starting off, uh, starting out, so. Um, I don't think I prayed anything from the prayer book, but it's uh, something I should start doing. I, this is this was something she told me yesterday. When you say you should, it usually means people uh, won't do it or something. And so what should I say? I will do it, or... Uh, I forgot, I forgot what she said, uh, my RCI uh, instructor class uh, uh, person, <laughs> I don't know what you, what, director of the RCI? Uh, <clears throat> All right, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, 2.20 after leave, uh, 2.30. <sighs> Yes. Uh, it's the grind. It's a, you know, daily, like today morning I got up at 6 and I did my morning routine. It was good. Then I had to dro drop my brother off at the station. Then I eat my breakfast. Uh, then, you know, I rest a bit and I win my veggies too. Oh. Okay, so I'll be going now and, uh, yeah. So it's 4.20 p.m. and I finished my point, but it was, it was a bit longer than usual because we were talking about the job capacity assessment, what sort of questions are, like, you know, like uh, I was having a lot of concerns about that and so we were talking a lot about that, like I was asking you know, like, um, you know, how does my current mental health problems affect my capacity to find full-time or even part-time employment? And uh, why Centrelink should refer me to a specialized employment service as this, so as to help me transition into the workforce uh, you know, so discussing a lot about that, like what does mental health mean? I mean, if you say someone, if you say depression, depression doesn't really tell this whole story. So, uh, you know, be more specific, like how does depression impact me? How does bipolar impact me? How does my borderline impact me? Well, it impacts me because by having, uh, it making it difficult for me to socially interact with people. Um, and there, you know, I've I've, uh, I've I've quit courses and even my university degree because I found it difficult to be around people, uh, you know. And I was suffered bullying at some places. Um, uh, anyway, all of that stuff. So I have to just be more specific instead of just saying borderline and all that. I have to be like, how does that affect me? It's not like how, you know what I mean? It's not like how does borderline affect people in general, but how does borderline affect me? Uh, and then, she, you know, she was writing a supporting letter and anyway. So that's why it took a bit of a long time. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go home now and... Um, I'll probably eat some nuts and then I'll eat, prepare, uh, cook my veggies too. And um, <sighs> yeah. So I hope I hope they uh, refer me to some better 
employment services because I mean it's you know it's not like a done deal I mean we make the recommendations from my psychiatrist and my doctor and, and this counselor here they make the recommendations and it's up to Centrelink to determine what is best for me or something um, yeah You know, you can uh, review decisions, um, but I don't know how that review process works. I should I should do it because this is what lawyers do, is like they help people with appeals and things like that. But I hope Centrelink makes a decision that is favorable to me, but you know, I hope they do. But it's not a guarantee, uh, you know, so I hope they refer me to a more specialized employment service or disability employment services uh, you know because she asked me oh you're not a, uh, you know I'm, I'm not applying for disability pension I said no I don't want to apply for disability pension I want to work I want to find work I actually do want to work so um, yeah I don't, I don't yeah I want to work but I need help uh, transitioning you see transitioning to the workplace so it's a small number of hours uh, and uh, the, if my workplace is aware of my mental health and social interaction issues, difficulty with social interactions. If, so I need more support to transition into the workplace because of my barriers to employment, which is my mental health, my mental illness. My mental illness is a barrier to employment. And I would I would benefit this is my you know, I would benefit from getting more support <sighs> all right okay, okay.